America has been at war for years and the effects hit right here at home in a unique way. Tonight, you will meet three young men, all different schools, different stories, different ways the war has impacted the gridiron in San Antonio. High school football has never meant so much to the men and women who serve overseas in Afghanistan and Iraq. Nothing beats high school football in the state of Texas. The hype. The fans. The competition. Different families from around the area cheering on their sons and daughters, their nephews and nieces. The senior year is a memorable one, shared usually with mom and dad. But nine years ago, events changed everything in America, even on the gridiron. Today, we've had a national tragedy. Two airplanes have crashed into the World Trade Center. Many Iraqis can hear me tonight in a translated radio broadcast. The tyrant will soon be gone. The day of your liberation is near. My name is Stefan Vano. I'm a linebacker at Roosevelt High School. Uh, Michael Bloom, Central Catholic High School, offensive line. Antonio Gunther, wide receiver, Edison Bears. Uh, my dad's Lawrence Bloom. He works in Afghanistan in the State Department. Jennifer Rawson, first lieutenant, United States Army. My mom is Lieutenant Colonel Susan Vano for the United States Air Force, and she is currently serving in Baghdad, Iraq. These young men, brothers by a passion for football, brothers by a common bond shared through the ongoings of war. I was very, very worried. I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know what was going on. It's Iraq. Things happen over there, so you got to go to sleep with that. Every once in a while, you have that uh, that one night or that one hour or so where you're just like, oh, God, I wish my dad was here. All right, it was kind of tough for me. She's a single mom, and she's been a big support for me. She's always been in every one of my games. Now that I'm a senior, it's supposed to be my best year. It's supposed to be the most, she's supposed to have the most impact, and it's tough being, not being able to look in the stands and not see her and not come home and not have the dinner from her and the famous food. She makes a lot of German dishes. She makes a hashe, this thing called a canodal. I just love her food. I mean, that's how I've lost weight since she's been gone. Thank goodness for Skype. It's great. It's, it's not like he's almost there, but you know, it's it just brings him home. Being able to see her smile, being able to see her face. I love seeing her face. I mean, sometimes kind of sad because she's far away. It's awesome just to be able to talk to her. We got her a laptop for Christmas, so she just kind of can carry it around and show us her room and show us where she's at. Uh, it's almost like being there. How does a mom deployed to Iraq see her son play his last high school year of football? Let me say that the internet is a beautiful thing. Stefan's mother Susan found a way through BigGameCoverage.com. She watches the Roosevelt games online and catches highlights of her son play. Well, she loves it. She shows it to everyone. She puts it on the big screen in the cafeteria and she shows everyone the, the videos from the scholar athlete. He maintains a 107.5 grade point average and ranked in the top 2% of his class. The first time she looked at the game, it kind of brought tears to her eyes not being able to be there, but she was, it, it tears of joy because she got to watch it. it. It's really the highlight of her week. Antonio shares a different story. When Edison held parent night against Kyle Lehman, he was surprised to find his mom had flown into town from Kuwait only hours before to catch the lone game she could see live his senior year. The next morning, she was on a flight to her next post. I was speechless. Every chance I got, I would look up and wave to her and smile at her. It just it brought back memories about when we were back at home and she would come watch me play. In this situation right here, you got these guys out here, you're going to show pass and you're going to go take the linebacker. Okay. Michael's father, Larry, has been working for the State Department in Afghanistan and Iraq for the last four years as an economic advisor. He has never seen his son play, catch a practice, or see him in his uniform until now. I think it's going to be great because, I mean, he sees what I do every day for three hours. So I think he can start to visualize what happens when I talk to him on the phone of, like, uh, what my practice is like, and this will help him start to visualize it. But I still understand that he's going overseas and he's, he's making a difference, so I think they need him more than I need him. Hey, Dad. Um, I miss you. We're all doing great here. Uh, I'll finish up this football season as hard as I can and try to make you proud. Mom, I love you. I miss you. I wish you were here to come watch me, but I'm doing everything for you to make you proud. I love you. Hey, Mom. Uh, 
I just want you to stay safe, and I, I want you to know I'm always thinking about you, and I, I hope everyone over there is treating you right. I know they're taking care of you, and just know we love you over here, and we miss you. Can't wait for you to come back home. Definitely a great and emotional story. To see this again, including many of our features, visit us online at ksat.com slash instant replay.